hi guys how are you guys doing i hope you're all well um in this video i just wanted to share with you a few reasons why you might not be in love with your natural hair like i am <laughs> um yeah the first thing i would say is you're constantly trying to make your hair look like another person's um with youtube with social media with like you know instagram twitter facebook all that we tend to see all different kinds of hair and our hair isn't all the same even though we might all have like afro textured hair people's hair might have like looser curls people's hair might have tighter curls people's hair might be thick people's hair might be thin everyone's hair is different you've got to stick to your hair and style it use styles that suit the texture of your hair like it's okay to get inspiration from people on social media but try to not get caught up trying to make your hair look the same as theirs because it's never going to work and like you're going to be fighting a losing battle you're constantly going to be feeling like well my hair doesn't look like that so i'm not happy with my hair and i hate my natural hair my next point is you're not actually you're not actually giving yourself um time to embrace your hair we all like majority of african people including myself we weren't brought up with our curly hair as it is you know we probably once you reach a certain age once you're five or six or whatever age you you know you get your hair relaxed once you're around that age your parents relax your hair so all you know is straight hair um you know caucasian looking hair and that's what you find beautiful because that's what you've been brought up with so it will take time for you to start to embrace the curly hair that you have so you need to give yourself that time to embrace it so it doesn't help to constantly have weaves and wigs and things like that on your head because then when you take it off and you see your natural hair, it doesn't look right because you just feel like, you know, no, 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 this isn't hair that I want to take out or I want to wear out or whatever. So you put a wig back on or a weave back on or whatever. So you need to give yourself that time to start to embrace and fall in love with your hair as it is and the only way that you can do that is to give your hair a break away from the weaves and the wigs and that way you learn how to style it as well because it's like this is what i've got this is what i'm going to work with what can i do with it how can i style it to make it good where i feel comfortable without me having to put a wig or a weave on it because if you're constantly putting weaves and wigs on it then you don't, you're not exposing your hair to yourself that much and you don't get to um you know fall in love with it really um as i said before and i think um another disadvantage to constantly having weaves and wigs and things like that on is it really dries out your hair so like even though you know you can use it as a protective style every now and again but you need to let your hair breathe where you just give it space like a space of a whole month or whatever where you're not really putting much on it or doing anything to it and that way you can you know actually take care of it shampoo where you need to deep condition where you need to and do all that but it's not like you you know you have natural hair that's under a wig all the time like where 24 7 you've got a wig on or 24 7 you've got a weave on that doesn't necessarily help with growth and with retaining moisture and things like that and if you um watch youtube videos a lot you will notice that the people that have really really long hair that have naturally um thick curly kinky hair that are african or african-american or whatever they don't tend to do weaves at all like people like natural 85 people like fusion of cultures you know and a lot of people when i bring these kind of conversation up are like oh but their hair is long already but it wasn't like they just woke up one night and their hair was long already they had there was a journey like the hair was short in the beginning and then because they had embraced it and they just styled it how it worked for them at whatever length their hair was um by the time their hair was long they were really confident about their hair and they were really comfortable with their hair there are people that have long hair but still don't feel comfortable so they have weaves and wigs on all the time and 
because constantly um, in our society, like on TV and things like that, straight hair is the beautiful thing. And even in African movies and stuff, when you see the house elves and stuff, they, you know, when they're house elves, they've got the cornrows on and their hair is all matted up and it's like, you know, like our hair type really. And then once they get rich and that, they get the weave on and they get the Caucasian looking hair and all that. And that, without you realizing, that actually enforces that straight hair is what's beautiful but naturally you don't have straight hair you don't have to have straight hair to have beautiful hair and that's something that i'm trying to like you know help others to embrace really and that was the whole reason why i started this channel um, i've been rambling on i don't even know where i'm up to at this point but yeah if you're doing weaves and wigs constantly just try and give your hair a bit of a break and that would come in handy in like helping to take care of your hair and you developing the confidence around wearing your hair just as it is and yeah um the rest of the points that i have they all tie in with everything else that i've said um i think it's really important to explore with your hair find what works for your hair like everyone's hair is different as i said before and there's thousands and thousands of tutorials on youtube that you can follow like people with thin hair have channels that you know they show people how to manage thin hair and people that have long hair people that have short hair there's so many ways that you can work your hair and it actually isn't hard you know to learn how to do those things it just takes time because as i said before it's not something you're used to what you're used to is putting chemicals in your hair relaxing it and getting a weave done all the time and the um the consequences of putting chemicals in your hair is actually worse than you might think it is um there's so much research on that on youtube as well so if you're interested definitely check out videos on like what a relaxer does to your hair and stuff like that and personally i think we have the most beautiful hair ever that's so versatile you can straighten it where you want to you can wear it in an afro if you want to you can plait it if you want to you can do whatever you want to and that people you know there's things that um, people with straight hair can't necessarily do with their hair that our hair can do so you know I think it's really important for you to um, embrace your hair as it is. I would say a lot of people I find don't necessarily take care of their hair as well and that's because yeah as I said before we're used to having relaxed hair and you know we're not really taught how to take care of curly hair and I have a lot of videos on like deep conditioning your hair and shampoos and things like that so if you're interested definitely check out the rest of the videos use on my channel but yeah generally it's quite important to deep condition your hair at least once a week or once a fortnight maximum um yeah and if you're going to be braiding your hair and putting in protective styles that's okay but make sure you're giving your hair a break as well um yeah that's pretty much it guys um thank you so much for watching if you have any comments or any questions about your hair any struggles that you have with your hair that you want to share with me i might be able to help because i've had my natural hair for a while. my card cut off and now i'm not sure where it ended but yeah um thank you so much for watching guys if you're not subscribed to my channel um i think you should especially if you have natural hair because we can learn from each other and you can stay updated with my videos as well um, yeah, thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!